guys, so I'm really getting into the habit of vlogging. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've spontaneously decided to start vlogging because I guess I have some interesting stuff to, to show you. I did a workout in the morning, which is part of a challenge that I'm doing. I'm not sure if it'll be up yet, but I'm doing the seven day jump rope challenge. And then basically I ended up going for like an hour with breaks obviously because skipping is very like stopping and starting. I call it skipping. Let me know if you call it skipping or jump rope. Let me know in the comments down below. I want to know what's like the most common uh, term used. So I am so tired today but I'm really proud of myself because I've really powered through. You guys know I've had an ongoing thing with energy like me and energy. Do you know what? We weren't friends for a while, but do you know what? I've been bringing the energy these days, but it's my birthday and I just received some flowers in the post. It was such a surprise, but I've got that also. My sister's already given me a birthday present as well for me to look forward to. So it came in this little pouch. Let me show you actually, let me set you down. Basically a few weeks ago now, I was out at Devil's Dyke, which is this place down in, down in England, like the South of England near where I live basically, because most of you guys probably don't even know where I'm talking about and people were paragliding and it looked so cool and I was like that looks like the most dreamy thing I really want to try it and my sister always comes through she always comes through and it's got all the details of like how I'm gonna be going paragliding wanted to show you what I'm up to you right now because I'm really proud of myself okay guys I love creating content I love being creative and I just love how this job has evolved so much from when I first started when I first started I'd just like literally make these videos and show you guys my health and fitness journey and this job has evolved so much over the years and I love how it's pushed my creativity my boundaries or what I'm capable of and lately I've just been really on if I do say so myself, I've been on fire with the ideas. <laughs> anyway, so for the picture, I wanted to make it different from my last one. And seeing as my birthday is in a week, a lot of the grooming I'm going to be doing in the next few days is going to be for my birthday. You know when you do a little bit of self-care, make yourself feel good. I was blowing up these balloons because I'm going to put them in my bathtub. <laughs> talk about how much activity I just did. Little tip guys, because I'm always hitting you with the health and fitness facts. When it comes to a healthy lifestyle, sometimes it's not even about getting a workout in in a day. Some of the most important parts of your day is a little bit of activity. So that running back and forth I just did, that's what you want to be doing. <laughs> not that that's what you want to be doing, but those little bits of activity is what will increase your, is it TDE, -E -E -E? but it's the amount that you burn just from your day-to-day -day activities. If you tend to be someone like that fidgets a lot and you get up and you walk and stuff like that, you're more likely to burn more energy throughout the day. Whereas if you put things off and you're like, try to cut corners a lot and you don't want to get up a lot, um, that makes a huge difference. Um, but definitely need more balloons. I'm glad I got two packs because that is not looking as full as I thought it would. Okay, so I finished, um, oh my gosh, I finished taking pictures, I think. I had a look and I was quite happy with all the pictures. Um, my bathroom is really small, so to get a good picture in there is really hard. So yeah, it's gonna be quite a busy evening, but I'm just gonna power through and get it done because, um... <laughs> Oh, 
goodness. Anyway, so I've just gone to get my food. So I'm just having, a <laughs> look how cute that looks. It does not look cute. I am having some cauliflower, uh, two chicken thighs. I've sort of piled it up onto a small plate. I was gonna have it on a big plate, but um, yeah, I've just had it on a small plate, which also helps if your portions are really small because it makes you feel like you're having bigger portions if you're used to like super big portions. You know, also people always say not to have condiments, but I've been able to enjoy my ketchup, my mayonnaise, all of those pretty well, despite what was I gonna say? My brain's gone because I'm hungry anyway. Um, I've been able to have condiments and they've not affected my progress too much but of course if you're feeling to be a little bit stricter condiments like this probably aren't for the best because did I see something the other day that was like ketchup has like two tablespoons of sugar or something I mean this is the reduced sugar type so that it falls under keto but these aren't very keto condiments are they Scholar? Not very but we still in ketosis up in this bee. Hello! So it is the next day. It is evening now. It is like uh, 7 p.m. and I haven't vlogged all day. Honestly guys, I did not have the best day. Um, I basically just did not sleep very well last night at all. I only had like four hours of sleep and it was like broken up. Uh, but basically I spent the morning just taking my hair out and then I did my nails, which I want to tell you guys about. I was kindly gifted these dipping powders, which is basically like a form of like I don't know, doing your nails. I don't know what to call it exactly. I'm so bad when it comes to this type of stuff, but I'm learning a lot. But yeah, you can use dipping powers to do your nails and they last a really long time. Almost feels like you've had, I don't know, I don't wanna say it's like something that it's not like, it feels like shellac, it feels like gel, but like almost better because it almost feels like acrylic as well. It's really cool. Uh, but I got it from Dipped UK and I've got this whole like box of goodies that look messy because I did my nails today um so I'm waiting until close to my birthday to do my nails so maybe in about like two days time and I don't actually like my feet at all very much so I was like oh I don't want to show you the whole process of me doing my feet but I'll show you my favorite foot because I have a foot I don't like basically I did a lot of like marathon running which meant that one of my toes it just oh it just fell off it's back but it's an odd shape now, so it just makes my foot look weird. <laughs> I just don't feel like showing you guys, but I can show you this one. <laughs> okay, can you see that? Okay, this is so bizarre. I'm getting my stretch in at least. The color I went for today, I went for Bougie Babe. And this is what the little pots look like. They're so cute. But the really cool thing about this is that when you have time, you can just do it. And there's no like drying time that you find with nail polish where you have to sit there and wait for it to dry. And you also don't have the issue with the UV thing, like having to have the whole UV lamp. Like you literally, you just use the kit that you get, like the nail polishes, like I wanna call them. And you just dip your finger in and like it's, so simple. Yeah, huge shout out to Dipped. I will have a discount link down below. Also, any of my Zimbabweans, make sure you go and support because it is Zimbabwean owned, also black owned. So I was really excited to work with them. So I just want to show you guys that. But anyway, I need to hop in the bath before I flood it. So I'll see you when I get out. Okay guys, so I just got out of the bath. That was a really nice long bath that I just had. Um, I just wanna show you what my hair is looking like. I washed out the conditioner that I was doing. And yeah, there's a lot more shrinkage this time, but it's still like pretty much the same length that it was before. Not much has changed. It feels like it's shrinking a lot shorter than it was before. Anyway, it's gonna get braided up, put in a protector style that hopefully, fingers crossed, will be okay for it. I'm gonna make sure that they try to do it in the best way possible. Like I might ask for like knotless braids and I'll ask them to make sure they don't do it too tight and all of these things. So I'm hoping, um, yeah, tomorrow the people doing my hair will be really good about it and not think I'm being too fussy, but do you know what? You have to be. Anyway, guys, I think I'm just gonna say good night now. I know today's clips have been really short, but I'm not really gonna do much. I'm just gonna get ready um, for bed, to be honest with you. And then tomorrow should be a fun transformational day. I might actually, should I? I was thinking of getting my brows done. Um, hmm, like get them tinted. Ooh, that might be nice. 
might get my brows tinted good morning guys so i am freshly showered we are vlogging on my phone right now so i hope the quality is okay um but i've just brushed my hair up into a bun you can kind of see where my hair is possibly had a bit of breakage i don't i think if edges were meant to be thick and full for everybody it wouldn't take so much work i feel like i don't know you let me know <laughs> i've got myself all packed up i'm showered ready to head out for the day it is gonna be a fun day of um just pampering actually which is really nice because i wasn't expecting to do this for my birthday i was kind of reluctant to make my birthday a thing this yeah just because everything is so not fun <laughs> you know my secret admirer that sent me the flowers has um told me to go and get my nails done girl okay guys i am back and i've got my hair done and i'm pretty happy with it like i got knotless braids and i got like a pick and drop style had it stopped here did curl it did curl it yeah like hot water curled it that's what i meant and so yeah i'm happy with this i feel like it'll last me a good while i'm just kind of like a little bit salty about one like the price and the service which i always am i feel like when i go get my hair done because i was just thinking but i was like it's my birthday i'd love to go sit back relax just have a really good experience but i was like sat there the whole time because i got not the braids done having to like hand the hair to them and they charged me extra when i said i was doing not less braids because they said like because i had they have to you know feed the hair in and i was like well it wasn't actually that much extra work for you but it ended up being extra work for me so i paid extra so that i could work a full shift too because i'm handing hair does that make me sound really sassy i'm turning into my mum like you know the older you get and when you're paying your money and you just expect a certain service so i don't know if i'm being really like i don't know particular but yeah i just it always frustrates me because there's like no other options especially where i live i am about to go and get my nails done i found this girl online i literally just googled nails and the area that i'm in and found this girl who does has a little salon in her house i guess and so she managed to book me in and i want to get like literally every treatment possible so i'm gonna get my nails done i'm gonna get my brows done and i'm gonna get lashes done so that's gonna be really good but i'm hoping she's good i like from what i saw on facebook it looks like she is good um it's like a new person and now i'm gonna have to sit and spend a few more hours with somebody else um but i'm hoping i'm not there for more than two hours i'm hoping everything won't take too long anyway i'm gonna drive off because lots of people walking through this car park just watching me talk to myself. Mm -hmm. 